no big protein energy bite three ingredients so anybody can do it it takes no time it's vegan it's gluten free and you don't need to turn on your oven which is my favorite part so i'm going to show you this it's super quick and rich i think you're going to even be making this when i'm done you ready go for it <laughs> all right so the first ingredient is you want one cup of almond butter now you can use any sort of nut butter that you want i like almond butter the best i think it is a bit healthier than the rest but you can use peanut butter you can use anything you desire nut butter wise so throw one cup in a big big bowl and get all I that love almond there. butter i think it's delicious well i love oh. I, you know i i just love almonds that they they have a real depth of flavor especially if you chose them so. okay next ingredient we got some rolled oats now these are gluten-free so obviously yep. if you're a gluten-free person this is great throw that right in right on top boom just like that and then we're not using sugar. We're not using cups and cups of sugar. We're using maple syrup. So beautiful organic maple syrup. We have three tablespoons of that maple syrup. And I'm not sure if I mentioned the oats were a cup and a half. Just wanted to go back to that. So are, for, for many families, these are pantry staples for sure. Oh yeah, everybody has them around. So now we mix. Recognize this beautiful spoon? I'm obsessed, my mixing spoon. Thank okay. you. Thank you for so, the product placement, Tommy. <laughs> I got you, babe. All right, so now you're gonna mix it all together, really get those oats folded in with the almond butter and it should start sticking together beautifully. Oh, I wish you can smell this. It's so simple, three ingredients, and it makes this gorgeous, beautiful aroma, especially with the maple syrup. I love it so much. So <laughs> now you can check that out. It's mixed. It's done. That's all you need. A, a few little tosses and you're good to go. So what you so want to do. Do you, do you chill it? Do you chill it? Not yet. No? Not yet, but we will. Okay. We will. Look at you knowing what's coming. Okay, excuse me. So now you're going to bring <laughs> a plate with some parchment paper over. Um, the yeah. parchment paper is just until your, your bites you know, firm up a little bit. And we're gotcha. going to get a little dirty. We're going to get dirty. Here's a tip. Wet the tips of your fingers, and that's going to make sure the battery... Oh, yeah, that's great. It keeps anything from sticking. Yep. Exactly. So here we go. You're going to just get in there, form a nice round size bite like so. Oh, Look those are before. huge. Uh, you know, I thought you were going to make little teeny like bite-sized pieces. That, that's like a meatball. You're right. It's, it totally looks like a meatball. You're so right. Um, <laughs> there you go, right? So you put it on your parchment paper, just like that. Let me make one more to show you guys a close-up. Okay. And here's the really cool thing about this recipe, Rach. You can customize it any way you want. So I did three ingredients today, right? But you can add in chocolate chips. You can add in coconut, vanilla extract, whatever you want. Have fun and play around a little bit. Here, I'm going to give you a beautiful close-up of that delicious bite size. Yum, 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 yum. There it is. All right. That's put several it bites. That's several bites if you're watching at home. Okay, That's wait a minute. I made it smaller for you. Look, there's this one with my bigger <laughs> one. And let me show you a finished plate. So these are actually with the chocolate chips. Look how delicious oh, yum. they are. Right? And you, you store these in your refrigerator. So after you make your plate on the parchment paper, Throw them in the fridge for an hour before you dive in. And then once that hour is done, you can take them, put them in Tupperware, store them in a plate, however you want to keep them. But they always have to stay in the refrigerator to stay firm and true to form. And, and let and me nice tell you, and fresh. oh my God, and you're going to be craving these. Like I look forward to these every single time I make them and I know everyone's going to love them. <laughs>